Kimberly Cole Webino, a professor of clarinet at the University of North Texas in Denton, Texas. There are a lot of values that that one considers. Certainly, as a teacher, there are. If we start just on the um, basic values of clarinet playing, certainly in in clarinet teaching, we want to. Uh, teach students to do their fundamental skills properly and to form their embouchure properly and use their air properly and have efficient and ergonomic um, hand position so they don't injure themselves and then we want to teach them all the patterns and we want to teach them just to get around the clarinet but really that's just the beginning the whole reason that we do all that and concentrate so hard on making the fundamental solid is so that really they students can um, access any piece of music um, and, and do anything with the music. So then, of course, we're concentrating on those fundamentals of how to be musical, how to craft a phrase, how to make it interesting, how to convey a sense of mood or a sense of um, color, and how to convey the composer's wishes. And that's all really great, too, but I think the, the biggest part of teaching and the reason I feel so committed to it is it's about... Um, about helping make a better world, which sounds a little bit idealistic, but it's about humans and it's about human values of kindness and fairness and hard work and treating others well and that it's a competitive music world, but if you work hard and do your best and treat everybody well, there's going to be a place for everybody. Okay, so right, we have da 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 I wonder if you think of this as a bigger group, right? Mm -hmm. And this as an anacrusis to that. Sure. Let's try it because I, I just find myself wishing for a little bit more expanse about it. Sure. Okay, let me just let's get a couple more things. My second thought is I think that Brahms wants something different. Music, unlike so many other disciplines, automatically teaches human values. I always say to my to my friends, if everybody in governments and in politics ha were a part of a a musical ensemble growing up, there probably would be no wars because nobody can be right all the time. It's always a give and take. You can Sometimes you're the soloist, but most often you have to be in a supporting role somehow. And musicians learn very quickly that the group project or the group um, dynamic, everybody forming together to make the, to make the music work always, always goes better. Um, so I think music teaches patience um, because you never can work out a, a piece of music overnight. It teaches dedication because you have to uh, keep working at something, oftentimes not over days, but over months and over years to really attain uh, a level that, that you seek. Um, I think it's... Uh, I think it's about being vulnerable and allowing yourself to, to experience emotions that are uncomfortable and bringing those into your performance as much as possible. I think it's about being honest um, because there's always going to be somebody that plays better than you and somebody that doesn't play as well as you and we're all in the middle somewhere. I think music teaches you to have to get along with everybody um, to make music. You might not like another person on a on a personal level or their values might not match yours, but you better figure it out if you're going to create a good concert. Um, I think music teaches time management because you have to really be organized and manage your practicing well to get everything done in the day. I think music has taught me how to be by myself a lot. Um, like I'm always happy just whenever I have my clarinet I'm pretty I can I'm never bored I can always find something to do because there's always more to practice and it will never get boring um, so that's a really fun part about things also sometimes frustrating I think music teaches friendship um, sometimes when we create music we aren't very familiar with our colleagues to start with but over the process of creating the music together it really makes friends for life <laughs> I think 
it's wonderful that uh, in the in the clarinet world today we have so many choices in instruments and I hope that because that's the case when when clarinetists are shopping for a new clarinet they really will take the time to try all the instruments they can and choose an instrument that helps convey their voice and picks that instrument that that helps them really sound and and communicate the way they want to from their heart rather than just picking an instrument because somebody tells them it's the best instrument to pick. I really love my Selmer clarinets for that very reason because I really can um, create a really great sonic world and, and find tone colors and characters and volumes and moods that can really help bring music to life and to create um, a really dynamic world of characters. And, um, I love how even my clarinet is. I love, um, just I feel like it's a really, I love when I play it sounds beautiful to me and I, I'm just really gratified by the sound of it and the feel of it. It's really nicely in tune, I appreciate that. I appreciate how even it is. Um, and my family who's been listening to me play clarinet for many years, my family all likes it the best. <laughs> so almost immediately when I switched to Selmer's, my family noticed immediately, so I knew I had made a good choice that way. I think Selmer Paris is a remarkable company. Um, from my first association, um, first of all, they were patient with me and gave me time to really try the clarinets and feel confident about playing their instruments. They didn't want me to just play them um, just because they wanted me to really believe in the clarinets and love them. Um, it was fascinating to visit the factory. It was so gratifying to walk through and to see the people that made, this person made this side key, and this person makes the Selmer logo, and this person makes the bells. And I had never thought about my clarinet that way before. So that uh, visiting the factory, I saw it as a, a sort of piece of art that everybody crafted their part to the utmost um, satisfaction and it has I feel like it's um, it's a it's a more human instrument to me now it's not just a thing but it's a product that everybody's kind of contributed to so that's really gratifying mm -hmm.